hood folk. Man. Dude, I said I wanted a couple pieces of chicken, not a whole family meal in this motherfucker. Who cares what you thought? Bro, this is too much food. Hey, when I see something that seems this like it's a good like it's a good thing, I'ma go for it. Alright. Who that be? Hood folks. Who we are? Hood folks. Who we do it for? Do it for the hood folks. Who that be? Hood folks. Who we are? Hood folks. Who we do it for? Do it for the hood folks. 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 Yeah, yeah. What's up, hood folks? It's your boy Bashad. I spoke last night. So, y'all, last night when we got through it live, we I went and ate my salad. It was so delectable and so good. I had that fresh guacamole I had made. It was so good. It was so good. So I had told him, I said, damn, I sure good. This salad good. You know what go good with this? A cup of KFC chicken fingers. I just said that casually. We ate our salad, went to sleep. Woke up this morning. He said, we still want that KFC. I said, man, I don't we want meat like that. I ain't checking with no meat like that. He said, you think we should get it? I said, if we go to KFC, I'd probably just get like a little four-piece denim. And then we're going to go to this other place and do a review on this uh, chicken plate. Then we looked at the map, and the chicken place was 45 minutes away. I said, that don't make no sense. It's either they closed on Sunday or they too far away. So, anyway, I told him to go in there. I, he said, what you wanted? I said, just surprise me with something simple, you know, because I ain't trying to eat me like that. Dude, this is a family meal. Who finna eat all this? You don't have to eat it now. We can eat on it all day and tomorrow. Bissit. How many bisses in there? Can y'all see the damn bisset? This ain't the camera. It don't focus like it's supposed to focus. There it go. Bessit. Yes, I said Bessit. Chicken tender. Hold it. Mmm, they fresh too. French fry. Gravy. Mashed potato and coleslaw. My favorite. <laughs> Man. Hey. And then, what the fuck it did? If you got about 12 tunnels right there, what it? <laughs> A whole bucket of chicken, y'all. Man, who the <laughs> extra crispy? <laughs> I know what, usually, usually we go to restaurant, I, 90%, 95% of the time, he go and order and I just sit in the car. I think we really changed that, man. <laughs> man, how about all this car about, $100? No, do you want me to tell you how much it costs? Nah, don't tell me. $30. Damn, that's a good deal, but Exactly, this... <laughs> it was a good deal, so I went for it. I said, shoot, sure, we can eat this now and all throughout the day whenever we get hungry, and tonight for dinner. No, it is just and maybe, not, maybe tomorrow morning for breakfast. What too much? Anyway, let's get us a plate started. All right, y'all, find a plate. Look at this a whole goddamn meal right here. That's it? Thumbnail. Hold on. <laughs> they can't do Can you stop? No, I'm just looking at it. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> man, come on, my eyes are in. Okay. You okay? <laughs> this is a whole meal, man. Look at that. Look at that plate. I need my camera because you can't see it. Look at that plate. Look at that plate. Look at that plate. So, folks, you know what they do? No. I like no, honey, no ketchup. I like honey mustard. I like you gotta make sure you look at the camera because I hate when people looking away like looking at them there. Oh damn, what happened to my other um KFC sauce? Mm -hmm. What you done did to it? Oh, you got it over there? 
Man, I only got two hands and one set of balls. What you want me to do? Swing them and bling them? Damn. Mm -hmm. So I like their chicken. I used to like their chicken fingers. Let's see if they still taste the same. Mmm. They are so good. They are still good. Mm-hmm. They could have went. They could have went down the deep fry probably by another minute. I got the KFC sauce. It's so good. You want to taste it? You should taste it. They don't upgrade it from the last time. Even though KFC said that they don't put no nothing in their mashed potatoes, like they just mashed potatoes with no pepper dots or anything in them, they season really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they do it or how they do it. The last time we came to KFC is we was just. It was last year, and we we, even, we haven't even moved to this city yet. And I was over meat, and I was eating French fries from McDonald's every day, and drinking sweet tea every day. I keep looking at myself over here. I need to look right here. My God. And I was drinking sweet tea every day. He had got a chicken box from KFC. I was like, I don't want none. And then he said, just taste it. He know what he was doing. That chicken was so nasty. I said, man, it must be some cabbage cooked. That chicken ain't a sign of seasoning on it. It was so nasty. Yeah, that chicken has been. How do it taste now? Mm-mm. I need some hot sauce. But in this restaurant, he, he said with most of them are black folks in there. Yeah, it wasn't nothing but a lot of black folks. And they were real nice, generous. Mm-hmm. What's that chicken taste like? Mm-hmm. Tastes good, don't it? Tastes like a grandma with fat on, uh, but see this chicken. I'm telling you. Let me try it. I got me a thigh. I'm putting my hot sauce on it, y'all, so give me a second. Second, but what? Mm, Pull it mm. up. I'm putting hot sauce on mine. And they gave you a little tray, too? Yep. Let the paper on. Hell nah. See, this one we be needing homeless to help eat this chicken. Because I'm telling you, who going to eat all this chicken? I said that I was going to eat on it throughout so the day and tomorrow. And maybe Tuesday, but. You really will, because. I'll probably eat another thigh, but that's it for me. I need some ketchup. We ain't got to ketchup. Hold on. I need a couple pieces of ketchup. Are we the only people? Really. Are we the only people that be keeping ketchup and condiments down in the arm rim? We got a whole bag of it. Right? Ooh, that look nasty. Ooh, that don't look right. What the hell it did? McDonald's syrups? <laughs> Man, you been to McDonald's syrups? Mm -hmm. Look at this ketchup right here. That ketchup that took the barbecue sauce. Can y'all see how dark that is? That damn ketchup that took the barbecue sauce. How long you had this in here? <laughs> Probably a couple of months. Mm -hmm. Maybe a year. Yeah, I like real ketchup. Oh, shit. I got a spear like you were laying night. Oh, a spear. Oh, no. I don't want to. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm contradicting myself. I, if y'all watched the live last night, y'all know I told y'all something that I, mm -mm, let's change the subject. You remember when you were young? I missed the good days when I was young. Back in the day, back when we were young, my mom used to work at KLC. And this when I was like five or six. And she used to bring home that chicken. And I don't think it was no uh, uh, extra crispy. Uh, if it was, we didn't get extra crispy. We used to get the original. You know, the original is kind of, the, skin, the, the shell is kind of softer. Mm -hmm. And we used to be sitting there waiting for mama. When we hear that damn car pull up out there in the yard, we was not trying to see was mama okay. Mama, you okay? We just reached for that damn bag. <laughs> get oh. out of here. <laughs> Let me get in here in the house and put my shoes out for you. <laughs> Greener. We couldn't wait to get to that damn food. Not worrying about your mom, worried about a box of chicken. Mm -hmm. It was so good. But now it seems like they mac. Now they basically the worst. KFC got the worst business. Nah, I know that. Like now, oh, my bad. They bought just steak up in y'all. It's in now they just mass produce the chicken. But anyway, I was saying KFC got the worst biscuit. And I think Church has got the best business. Oh my God. That's I know back home. They got a um, KFC, and it's all you can eat. Didn't you take me there before? Yep. Well, I didn't eat that, though, Dylan. Nope. 
Yeah, he did. You ate most of the, just the sides, the Coke. coleslaw and the mashed potatoes. Yeah, I remember. Green bean. Why the fuck they got rid of green beans off the menu, cause they don't got green beans no more, and they green beans used to be so basic. Cause uh -huh. I, when it comes to green beans, I like my green beans to be real simple and basic. And it seemed that they pulled them right at the can and put just a little salt and pepper on your pot on That was it. Bastards. Well, we used to go there. We used to dig in. But also, my other favorite spot to go. Excuse me. My other favorite spot to go was Bojangles, and y'all know that. What is it? Oh, that net. So I used to love their Bowberry biscuits and they breakfast. Them breakfast biscuits, that steak biscuit was the best, I'm telling you. Can't even map potato good. I didn't like no Bojangles, but. We had I I mainly got their um chicken tenders. They um Did they have regular chicken? They, yeah, they had regular chicken. I don't remember getting regular chicken. But I didn't like no Bojangles because only name Bojangles, yeah, they drive the hell of that car right there. They throwing that car to public spot like a bowling ball. Yeah. <laughs> they gotta me. get in there and get their chicken. Well I can't sleep without my glasses. That's the dude that just left. He must be doing DoorDash. But uh, I didn't, when it came to Bojangles, I didn't like, I don't think I like them for a biscuit. I think they had a good sausage biscuit. You didn't like they steak biscuit too much. Mm-mm. But I love it. I'm getting full, see? I, mean, I haven't even eaten that much. I mean, I still got good people food on the plate. And that's why we, when we go out to restaurants, most times we do a video is we buy one plate and share it. Mm -hmm. And then we can do the video and we still want some more. We still have some more, then he'll probably go in and get him some more. You was hungry. I was hungry. I that know. little salad last mm. night. That salad was good. It was good. I ain't gonna lie. And he Right me. before I went to bed, I started getting hungry again. It's like that salad just filled me up for a little bit. Really? Mm-hmm. I like salad. Like, I'm not wrong, not wrong with salad. I like salad. I really, I, and then when it comes to salad, I only like, it don't have to be all grand, you know. Use my water. Yeah. Um, it don't have to be all grand. I can just I like iceberg lettuce the most. You know, it's just so many different type of bases, you know, you can do for your salad. But I like iceberg lettuce the most. And then I like onions, pickles, not pickles, onions, cucumbers. I like to make my own guacamole sauce. Or I just chop chop an avocados. And I love cheese on my uh, salad. Sharp, I like especially sharp cheese. And reduced fat cheese. And I've been, I y'all, I've never, ever, ever, ever tried out balsamic, balsamic vinegar or dressing. Because I never like vinegar-based dressing. I like, you know, I'm a rent. I like the dip. I come a, from a thousand island rent dressing family. My mom didn't raise up on no damn vinegar and all uh, dressing. That's a sin. <laughs> but I tried some balsamic vinegar back here a couple weeks ago. And I've been going through that. It is so good. Even though rent's still the kid out there. At your house, I should say. And people always say what y'all got in that blue cup. And then one lady gonna say, they tell me they got water, probably some juice. It's water. Yeah. I feel I fill this cup up and this is 32 ounce a cup. I fill this cup up at least six to seven times per day and drink it. I fill it with ice too. Now if he drank it out of it too, then I had to fill up more. But I just had to get me a gallon of water in my body every day, and I just feel weird if I don't. Like that one video we was doing when we took the car to the shop, I hadn't drunk no water or none that morning. I had been up for like three or four hours and I had drunk no water that morning. I felt bad. Like I felt like I was about to pass out. But as soon as we got that bottle of water in me, and I dropped that I dropped that first bottle like I was a no second hand, don't get sick this time. But I dropped that first bottle real fast. <laughs> and that second bottle I put on the camera, I felt like I just felt so rejuvenated. That's a big word, ain't it? Spell it for me, babe. For you. Woo, I got a college degree. Don't try to compete with me. <laughs> you just rhymed. <laughs> mm. So today is Sunday. Did y'all go to church today? I went to church in my dreams. I have, I have, now, this is another topic people hear me talk about a lot, well, asking a lot about, is have I gave up on God because I don't talk about church and I be dissing religion. Mm -hmm. My mouth like your mouth. I have not given up on God at all. 
But I have a hundred percent give it about religion. And it was a while ago, even as little as two years ago, when I hear people talk about Christianity, y'all Christian this and that, I would get offended. I would get real offended, like, no, nah, you need to watch your mouth. But once I got to meditating, praying, and seeing things, Christianity, Muslim, all this stuff is just man-made, you know. God ain't none of that stuff. So I don't go by no Christian no more. Even though I still hold on to Christian values, I don't, I don't, I don't. I miss, I miss going to church for choir singing. I want to go to the church just to sing the choir. But they don't even have choir no more because all the church not be having praise and worship, which I absolutely can't stand. I hate praise and worship music and I hate praise and worship theme and all that bullish stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather hear a choir sing. I mean, it's good sometimes to see the praise team come out and flat. the praise team come out <clears throat> and make some noise and rejoice. But I like to hear a choir. I like to hear that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the devil be right here. <laughs> I do too. And I miss that mouth shaking. <clears throat> Great is the Lord, my comforter. He has never failed me yet. I miss all that. Through all my trials and tribulations, he will deliver. The greatest one is God. Ah, ah, ah. I miss all that. No more praise scene. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. I praise your name. I praise your name today. You bring in miracles. You bring in miracles. To me every day, God. To me every day. I freaking cuss word. Can't, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I just can't stand it. Okay. Yeah, anyway. My choir practice is over, y'all. <laughs> but I, that's the only thing I miss about church. When I was young, it used to be stuff, some stuff. It used to be some stuff. They just said church days made me so depressed. Like, when they used to talk about we living in the last days, um, I'm waiting for God to give me, I'm going to get my crowns in heaven. I'm going to get my Jews in heaven. And nothing but the righteous to see him. And I was glad when they said, let's go to the house of the Lord. And this was my absolutely worst one. I can't wait to get to heaven because every day going to be Sunday. Y'all, Sunday in my from my childhood to today, I don't like Sunday. Sunday is my least favorite day of the week because a lot of bad stuff that I found out on, you know, like people would go out on Saturday night, they die Saturday night, then Sunday morning we get we get the bad news, and my dad had died on a Saturday night and then I got up Sunday morning, got the bad news, so every time I think about Sunday to me it's depression and sadness, so if we're going to heaven, that's all we're going to have, depression and sadness, I just say, I just rather go to hell I want to go to hell, because I don't want to go to no heaven, it's going to be this depression and heaven Hell no, sit me there. The devil gonna have ice cream and candy, all the bad snacks. And we're gonna get to heaven, they're gonna have angel food cake and all this stuff. I don't want that bullshit. Yeah, you are, that's how I used to think when I was a kid. <laughs> you are terrible. You are terrible. You are so terrible. This plate full with nothing but carbohydrate. <laughs> and it's going straight to your head. <laughs> so that's, I, so my stance on it is, y'all, I I don't do religion no more, though. So I'm no longer Christian. I'm no longer none of that stuff. Now, Michelle, so he want to turn into a Muslim, but he's a little bacon too much. So I'm not going to tell him, get your fat ass from over here. We ain't doing that. <laughs> I ain't say that. <laughs> Me personally, um, I can still see myself as a Christian. I mean, I still see myself as a Christian, um, if anybody is to ask. Um, as far as I believe in, in a God, I believe there is a God. I believe that the God of Christianity and the God of the Muslim religion and the God of Hindu, Buddhist, all that, it's the same God. I think what it is is that different parts of the world wanted to, you know, use <clears throat> use their version of religion and kind of put it on different people, you know, put it on their people, like, you should believe this, and you should believe that, just like Christianity, 
They ran around trying to, uh, back in the medieval times, was going to war with, you know, these, these um, what did they call them? Holy wars and stuff. You know, trying to make one, you know, going against another religion and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I, but um, I do believe that Jesus had a son. God had a son. His name was Jesus. Uh, but as far as, like, really being a Christian... I'm 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 step back for that because I don't understand how it is that Christians supposed to we supposed to abide by all these rules on the Bible and most Christians don't and are doing better than other Christians. So I'm and uh, wait what? Uh, other Christians don't follow what the Bible tells you to do mm -hmm. and they're living better than some Christians who follow abide by it night and day. Mm -hmm. They, they live in two different lives. One living a lot better than the other. The other seems like it's always just at the bottom. I think I know what you're saying. Yeah. So it's like, I've noticed that black people are way more religious than other races. Like, I can be black, and I can be on Facebook, Instagram, just talking about God nonstop, posting about God nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. But then the blessing level that I have as a black person seemed to be very minimal. Like I get a basic house, basic car, basic insurance, basic health. You know, I got health issues going on with my life, blah, 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 this and that. Then you can take some people like who white or Asian <clears throat> foreigners who don't be talking about God at all. And they own all the hospitals, own all the treatments, own all the land, own everything. And they don't never talk about God. It seems like it's backwards. And it seems like it should be the people who always in, always God fanatics. They should just be having all the abundance of life, you know, material things, health-wise and everything. And the people who ain't never talking about him should be suffering and struggling, but it seems like it's backwards. But I know people go, I said it to somebody one time, oh, I'm very blessed. I'm like, well, yeah, we all blessed. But I'm talking about when you look at what you got and what they got, you know, you need diabetic medicine. This person owned a diabetic clinic that makes it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They'll never have to struggle from diabetic medicine. You praying that you can work overtime to pay for your medicine or your insurance. That's what I'm saying. Stuff like that. So, I didn't mean to take this video like this. Today yeah. is Sunday. I thought we were going to be talking about chicken. Let's get back to the chicken. Man, don't you ever go to KFC and buy them a ch chicken again unless we finna go to a Sunday programming. This is more chicken than a damn Sunday. We just Sunday. left out of a Sunday, uh, Sunday programming. What was it? We just had Sunday, um, Sunday Bible study. Right okay, now. well, it's time for the benediction. <clears throat> May the Lord walk between me and thee. Why we absent from another? Amen. 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 Yeah. But anyway, that's all we got for the day. <laughs> <laughs> that's all for the day. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and press that ugly ass bell. Who that white person? All these white people walking through here. Are you just going to. You just going to. Stop in the middle. Rashad, of I'm uh, in the somebody. Of I wish I could turn this camera around. This white dude is literally walking like right by your car, like he can touch it right here. Now he is all this out here right there, and he walking by your car. I don't trust nobody, and I don't trust white people with Mike and Miles hair. Ah uh, ah. Uh, in this October. Anyway, hood folks, like, comment, subscribe, press. That ugly ass bell button to get notified whenever we put a new content on this page. <laughs> Michael, no! Michael, no! No, Michael, no! Don't do it, Michael! Don't do it! Bye, hood folks. Peace. <laughs>